Right, so on our side by side maps then, let's have a quick look. One of the marshes down there, I'm following the map on the left uh, hand side here. One of the marshes down there, that's the main uh, line there from Oxford to Birmingham. And this is our branch line. You see, it was right parallel with the uh, A49 up there. There's an opportunity there for a, a bridge of some sort, hopefully. Let me come up here. The next opportunity is there where we can pop down and look for yet another bridge, a crossing of some sort. Then on up the road again at the Horrible 429, Stretton on Foss. Now there's a station there as well, somewhere. But hopefully we can find the crossing point. Then we're going up here to London. Where there was another, yet another station. Don't quite know where that was. Then look at this curious feature here, how the track bends. Right around there in a right angle. Crosses the 429 again, and there's an opportunity to try and find a bridge there before the rail then slinks across, goes down to Shipton on Stour. On Stour. So that's our mission for today. See what we can find in this old railway. Here's more in the marsh. It wiggles a bit through there, but look at if you look now on Google Earth on the right, look what it has to get through now. Yeah. This is going to be a challenge. Let's give it a shot. Lovely old stone bridge. All very original looking. First view then of Morton Station. And our branch line comes off to the left here somewhere. Or did. I can't be having a rail, it's too close to the bridge on this side somewhere. About to make his way through that lot. Trying to pick out the original buildings to the new buildings. And if we look to the left hand side of the station, a lot of chimneys been there a while. Not a bad station approach. Pedestrian only. Use your station boundary materials. Original station building, that's a surprise. It's rather nice. It is a little bit dwarfed by uh, the walkway over there. Off to the side of the car park. I'm guessing one of those is probably the station master's house. Bit modified here and there. Lovely chimneys, though. So that's railway chimneys, isn't it? Then down that away. Oh, signal box. And station details. Lovely old canopy. Non-standard roof uh, covering. At least they've left the main building. A bit special, I like the canopy. Looking down the line. There's some beautiful detail left here, isn't there? Look at that. Nice detail over the lintel. And that. Original seat. That's beautiful. Some more rather good detail there. Beautiful. Well done. Now, this object here, you would stick your dog on that at the moment, I suppose, but what was that for originally? It looks original. Get hammered into the brickwork. Anybody? May I have your attention, please? Please note, to ensure a timely departure, train doors will be locked shut up to 40 seconds before departure. Thank you. 30 degrees today. What oh, fun. Take a closer look at this then. I think it's still manned, I can hear movement. Lovely finials on the roof. And vents by the look of it. The loo on the left.
play that centre if I can. Right there. I can't see any rods or levers coming out of that side. It's so underground. But there's certainly a rake of them coming out there. And heading off down there. And then the brick structure. Looks like an original loading dock. I'd have that down as livestock, look at those bricks. I'm about as certain as I can be that our branch line is the other side of that uh, platform. We need to go cross over to see that. All the way down there. Look at these lovely old semaphore signals. I know he's in a motorbike. That's giving right of way to whatever's coming. Let's go chasing our, uh, let's go chasing our branch line. Here we go from modern slabs to original. So you've seen some action I imagine. We have a choice here then, long route or short route. We'll go up one and come back the other. Do not run. I'll certainly comply with that today. 30 degree heat. <laughs> Quick look at the layout from up here. Now how to get over here, our branch line then, is just there. Hmm. You can see the platform for it over the modern station building. Take a closer look. I wonder what happened to the original station building on this side. Probably couldn't afford to maintain both. GWR, lovely. Our platform edge then is here. Now what has got these knobbles for the uh, sight impaired, I've no idea. Because it's left passengers in 1920 something. Down in there somewhere. I'd love to see the original boundary fence or something in there. I'm sure it's there. But uh, you won't see it through this lot. Back of the signal box. I don't think that's original. I bet it's welcome though. Lovely old engineering brick signal box. Old concrete post still doing duty. As it is, down there if the camera will follow it. This whole thing, bit of rail. Those straining bolts. Gosh, they've been there some time, haven't they? Okay, I think we're out of here. So our branch line then heads off to the right from here. We will watch the other end of the platform just to see if we can make anything out. Like I need the exercise in this heat. That's the opposite side of the track then, and that's modern. It's got an old semaphore though. 
But then over here is a pathway. Down there you can see the cables for the uh, modern signalling. But well, I reckon that path is going to cross the branch somewhere. Can we get there? Well, the answer is yes. And our reward? One concrete post. What did you expect? <laughs> Rails. On the other side is a lovely hibiscus, and then hidden back there, spear point fencing. How exciting. On this side, the uh, platform continues. So you've got to think the branch line hadn't branched yet. The platform ends there, and the bridge isn't too far away, so it's got to branch pretty soon. And there's that large white building in the way. That would be quite a tight turn there to miss the building. That building there has an original look about it. So the white building then has to be an imposter. Yeah. Well that's gone under the bridge, we're about to go over it. Back to the car and the railway, our branch line. There's our white building. There's our original building. Fine house there, that could be the station master's abode. These two buildings here, if you look at the one on the left, on the roof, is one and a quarter. I wonder if that's to allow the branch line to sweep in front of it. The branch line goes through that um, bush there. I know that because over the other side of the road it lines up. The line goes through there then into that hedge and then parallels the A49 Fosway. Well that's where it went through there but I've got nothing to prove it. That's the opposite side which is no better. So now we're off at the 49 to where it crosses over, or one of the offshoots crosses our railway. Fall off to the side then, and there's a line of trees heading for the road, straight line I might say, but no sign of a bridge. The line of trees continue along there, so it looks promising. Well, don't look altogether promising. Well, I've just noticed, which is very encouraging. That helps them. There are two lines of hedges here. So this is the track bed between the two. I'm sure they wouldn't mind just taking a peek down here to ground level, as it were. In fact, this driveway is the railway. You can see how the driveway steepens towards the top. Well, what would have been the bridge? Well, this would have gone under it. Not a single fence post inside. Right, let's go to the next road crossing then, a mile or two up the road. Well, this is about uh, 30 yards off the main A49. I'm sat here enjoying the uh, aircon. Uh, and any signs of our railway are going to be down the bottom there in the bottom of this road, so we'll pop down now and take a look at that. Key fingers crossed. Aha, some actual physical evidence here, except it's in the bottom of the valley. Got a bit of stream down in the bottom of the valley. I'm not saying the railway didn't construct that, but that's going to be a stream. Take a look. It's certainly deep, but yeah, as we suspected folks, a stream. Our railway's up here, which is the way that uh, we've just driven, and there's no evidence of anything really. Ditchford Mill, 
so it's not down there. There isn't a line of trees here to give us a clue. So I think we've lost this one. There was a lump in the distance which could have been an embankment I guess. But um, I think we're going to have to move on. And our next one's probably going to be worse than this. Is that possible? That's not, is it? A careful study of the map. See we haven't gone far enough. And there's our railway at the top of that little rise. There's some private hands on the right. On the left I can show you the track. Up the embankment. And then the railway runs along down there. And we've got another one of those. Stretton on Foston. There's a station here. They're only made of wood. Where the railway line was, I wouldn't like to say. Down on our left then is another stream bed. Almost dead cert. On our right is a tall bank with posts on it. Could be. And no other clues. And local knowledge tells me there's two here in the railway. There you go. Heading off into the distance. That's the opposite side of the road. Turning off the horrible A429 to the left, then we come to this crossroads. I'm not expecting much change, but we'll give it a look. I think we owe it that much. Aha! We've provoked the railway gods into supplying a post. Well, could be. Not sure about the paling fence, but that could be as well. I don't see any holes for fixing the chair, but it might be below all that lot. That's looking more railwayish, isn't it? Covered in ivy. Still with the paling fence. Could be a later addition. They're all over the place now. This one's still got the plain wire attached, which makes it railway. We're going to set off down here now to the next objective. Sight of another station. We're looking for station clues. That's kind of got a station look about it, but it's quite modern. And when you consider the original station was made of wood, and likely, and it's possible that it's on the station site, so they made them design it that way. Grassman straws again. Now that, if I'm not mistaken. It's part of a locking, a crossing gate mechanism. By the side of the road. That's why I'm just blocking the road at the moment. Yes, I'm filming from the car because the air conditioning's on. Right, that is Darling Scott then. This is now where the railway takes a sharp right hand turn and heads for Shipston. No doubt to do with the contours. This is about where it ought to be. We've crossed the A429, just about here. Not any clues, I'm afraid. That line there is possibly, that's on the opposite side of the road. Possibly something, but... No, we're off into Shipston from here then. A bit warm. Not a bad economy though. Just driven through the centre of Shipston, but I think that is as near as we're going to get. From what I understand it's all completely missing, but we'll go and take a look, just wander off down the road and take a look. But that could be the conclusion. It's not bad, is it? 
and we have a confusion of dwellings, goodness knows what. We'll take a look. And we finally run out of road. I was hoping to find the engine shed, apparently that had various uses after its demise as a railway engine shed. But, um, bit too much of a confusion of buildings here. I guess it's possible if you walk around for long enough, but in 31 degrees, folks, that's your lot. Well, a failure then. What was it? Let's take a quick look. Go to the map on the left. We came down this B road to that junction there. Turn left, went to the A34. Came up here on the right hand bend, we went left. That was Station Road. Followed it to the end. We were at the station. But this is all new houses now, the whole lot. So was that a failure? Hmm, I'll give that 50-50, I think. Okay, so that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, plenty more adventures on my uh, website, on my website, on my channel. And maybe I'll catch you on the next one.